Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. We're just outside the Saiho Mall, which is not the mall that we're going to see today. Malls are a huge thing in China because of the density. Uh, behind me over here is a nice mall that my friend works at, but this is not the one that I want to bring you to. The one I want to bring you to is over here across the street because it's got a lot more cool features. So I'm going to do my best to bring you through the mall and fast forward through all the boring parts and show you all the cool parts. So this mall is called the City Walk and the theme is a lot of open space and a lot of green areas. Uh, there's also a coffee expo happening right now and I did a little other video. My friend Doric and I went through that so you can watch that video. Uh, but uh, let's get right to it. So here we are in the front of the mall and very stereotypically you'll see like some water fountains uh, kind of decorating it and a lot of uh, big advertising screens with some, uh, some advertising displays on it. Here you can see pools uh, on the different tier levels. Again, uh, these malls are really, really well decorated and a lot of them, a lot of them, I say a lot of them because I've been to quite a few of these malls, have like a terrace level. So there's a lot of outdoor features because of the climate here in Chengdu. They're usually pretty warm outside. So we're gonna, we're gonna take you inside kind of the court area in the middle and see uh, what that area looks like. Neiman Hall. Oh. Uh, this is uh, one of the temperature checks. So if any of the, if there are any confirmed coronavirus cases, they kind of step up the, the, the checks a little bit. They probably wouldn't allow me in without a mask and they would definitely check the health app code and my temperature. But they didn't do that because we haven't had a case here in over a month. So this is the open court area in the middle of the mall. Uh, this would be a good time to pause your video and take a good look around because there is a lot to see. place where you're going to want to pause it because there is quite a bit to see. So now we're here still on the second floor overlooking the entrance that I was in front of just before we were walking into the mall. And you see uh, a nice glass uh, walkway that kind of doesn't really lead anywhere but it's really pretty and cool to, to walk across and a really awesome uh, water feature water fountain and it's just kind of framing the corner open space of, of this of this mall here and then just above us is uh, the big advertising TV screen that, that uh, we had uh, seen when we first walked in so we'll go up one more escalator See what's on the third floor. So one of my favorite things to do is to just wander around almost to the places where you feel like you really shouldn't be going because there's so much to see. Uh, and if you don't explore, you, you don't really know what you're missing. So over here, we're at kind of a balcony overlooking the same uh, the same entrance. Here's here's the entrance that we walked into before. The Metro Mart in the background, and uh, we're just kind of exploring a uh, terrace. And I'm not exactly sure where it goes. Hopefully, it leads to 
some some cool place. We'll see. All right, we finally made it to the fourth floor. And again, here is a good time to pause it to really get a good look around. Uh, you can see all of the terraced uh, parts of the mall, kind of over the edge, just, just over that way. You can see all of the different apartment neighborhoods behind me. They go up seemingly forever. Uh, we've got to be at least 30 floors in each one of them. And then uh, just down there, if you look down over there, that was the uh, coffee expo that my friend and I were at just, just today. So we're gonna take a look around the fourth floor. Usually the top floor houses uh, expensive restaurants because of the nice view and uh, workout places, so the, the gym. But let's take a little explore, see what the fourth floor has to offer. to the end of this hallway and it looks like this is going to be another amazing restaurant that's under construction right now it's kind of on the corner uh, there's some yeah there's some landscaping going on but it's definitely not finished so what we're going to do is we're going to go down one floor and see if i can get to the corner of the mall to get a little better view of what's going on around us Standing structure on the corner, um, and, and it makes for a pretty cool shot. I'm gonna hang you over the edge here. This is gonna be another opportunity to kind of pause and get the scale of China. So below us, we can kind of see an outdoor dining restaurant, and the open area and the intersection that's pretty typical of uh, urban, urban China. So over here, you can see just how close uh, the housing comes to the commercial area. Uh, it goes up, oh man, I would say another 20, 20 stories from here, and we're on the third floor yet. Uh, and over here, you can just see the inside terrace level that I was describing before. It's, it's uh, pretty interesting to see. So we'll just wander around a little bit more. And I'll take it down a few floors. second floor down to the first floor. Yeah, uh, the slides are kind of blocked off and each one of the slides is very
barricaded at the top of the slide. So maybe they only open it for special events where they have people supervising it, but that makes a lot more sense. Just to give you a peer over the edge, this is another amazing time that you can pause the video and take a look around because there's so much to see. But here is the slide that goes from the second floor and the third floor and the fourth floor all the way to the first floor. area and now it's a little later in the evening and everything is lit up and again this is a perfect time to give it a pause to really take in the scope and size of everything uh, there's a train in just about every mall there's a train uh, that brings everybody around so uh, give it a pause give it a look around and then I'll take you out on the glass bridge I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching till the end. Uh, this is a good time to pause it again because there's there's a lot to look around around here. We're on a, a glass walkway over a water fountain with a train picking up people in the background and the front of the mall right behind me with a really huge TV that's advertising things. Uh, it's just a spectacular sight to see. This gives you a real good perspective of the scope and size of a normal, just everyday uh, part of Chengdu, China. This isn't even really the downtown area. I think this is out, out by the third ring. So I'd like to say thank you everybody for watching. I think you're awesome. I love you. And I will see you in the next video. Down to the, my left here is the Metro Mall. And if you've been to Europe, it's the same metro uh, that you get. It uh, has a lot of uh, European and American foods in it. I just brought, brought us through there. Uh, fun fact, you kind of need to subscribe to their membership card before you can buy stuff. There's no fee for it, but you do need a Chinese ID. And I didn't have a Chinese ID. So the girl in line right behind me was nice enough to scan. I think she just wanted to check out. So she scanned her, her deal and was, uh, I was allowed to, to buy that. Name and how?